Hello everyone, this is TSET ABCD and welcome to another Katan video here on my channel. So in this game, I'm just playing the base game today for my road to top 10 series and I am in the fourth position here. Yeah, surely seems to be a difficult board because there is yeah, there is not a lot of wheat left for me. Also, most of the ore has been picked up. Yeah, surely makes it a little more difficult for me to get a decent placement now. To be honest, I'm actually considering on giving up on ore here. Start with something like um, 694 sorry uh, 6910 and pair it up with 942 and then maybe i can get a settlement on 62 and on 52 here i'm just wondering if 62 62 will be picked up by anyone i don't think so what does orange do i think orange goes for something like uh, 8, 4, 11 with the option of going for 8, 10 seems quite strong. But maybe red goes for 8, 10 if orange goes for 8, 4, 11. And then, I mean, green still has access to the wood port. So green might go for something like 4, 4, 3, 11 or maybe six yeah six three twelve seems better for green so yeah six two and five two will be open for me with that setup yes looks like those would be my only options here so i don't want to be plowed so anybody who places on six three twelve will surely point to the right maybe 6-5 is open for me that there is a good chance 6-5 is open but at this point I think I'll just point towards the 3 to 1 port and with 9-4-2 do I want to point to the right and go towards the wheat port Yeah, I think I'll go for it. I don't think anybody should be going for 6-2 directly. I mean, red is surely not going for 6-2, I think. So it is between orange and green. And I think green would want to go for brick. So maybe 6-3-12 or maybe 6-5. And here... I mean, orange has something like 8, 4, 11 or 8, 10, 11 open with the access to the sheep port and the ore port. Here, let's take a look at the ranking of my opponents. So green here is global 498. Just closing a few other tabs and now let's see what red is. Red is at 1500. So, but red has only played 20 games this season. So it's still a long way away. Um, and orange at this point is global 242. So yeah, overall everyone is decent here. I mean, red's rank is low, but then red hasn't played a lot of games. So let's see. Hopefully this will be a good game. I mean, orange is taking their time. Okay. 
this is a little surprising because this leaves something like 8, 10, 11 open for red. To be honest, I don't mind it actually because this gives me a good uh, option to expand. Maybe 6, 5 does remain open here. Yeah, so I expected red to go for 8, 4, 11, 8, 10, 11. And now I believe we yeah, are green goes for this. So my first objective would be to get a settlement on 6-2 and then get a settlement on 5-2. Here, let's see if I get any trades. Yeah, maybe 1 is to 2 this early on the game. Nobody will be willing to do that. I'll do a 1 is to 1. Uh, let's see if I get any more trades. I'll buy a dev card if nothing else works out here. Okay, get a VP. Yeah. Not the card that I was hoping for. Especially early on in the game, getting a VP is generally not a good uh, move or a good choice. But it's not a choice that I have. It's just um, I'm stuck with that card. Orange here has a lot of ore in hand. Yeah, let's see if I can get a uh, ore. I'll offer a trade like this. Okay, uh, this is also a decent trade. I, yeah, I cannot give up my word here let's see if I get a trade like this I'll again buy a dev card orange is considering okay yeah I think I'll just end my turn it, there's no reason to give orange a city here okay orange does a 4 is to 2 gets a settlement yeah there is not much that i can do here i know orange has a sheep in hand which doesn't help me um green has a brick but green hasn't i'm not sure what green plans to do because green could have built a road towards the wood port i think green wants to go for 3 4 11 here So here at this point, I think red is the only person who has any brick in hand. Yeah, red here most likely blocks the six brick or the nine board. Yeah, solo blocks or uh, orange, I don't mind that at all. And plays a knight, oh wow. Yeah, this is unfortunate, especially because I got a VP here, which doesn't help me much. So build towards the wheat port. Now sixes are rolling. Surprise green did not do anything there that turn. Wait, why did red play a knight there? Okay, it does get a city though, I mean. So here I think green is looking for a sheep. So let me offer a 1 is to 2 here, hoping that green accepts it. So green doesn't accept a 1 is to 2, which is surprising. Green surely doesn't want a wheat. Uh, let's see if I can just get a 1 is to 1 here. Okay. Yeah, not sure what green wants here. Maybe accepts this trade. Okay, it does accept it here. 
I'll go for it. I mean, it does give me a decent port now, so that's fine. Hopefully, roll the seven. Okay. Yeah, but now I think green has to be a big threat as well. Getting the wood port, which is a very, very strong port for green. The thing is green and I have the same brick production, where I, but green has better wood. So there's a good chance green gets to 6-5 before I can get there. Let's see if I get this. If not, I think I will solo block green here. Wow, that is surprising. But orange might have an ore. I get a brick from orange. Do I just buy a dev card here? I think I'll go for it. Okay, I get a year of plenty. I'm more than happy with it because that can basically turn out to be two ores for me. Here, if a nine rolls, or maybe if a four or a six rolls, I can get a settlement on five two, which surely is a good spot. I can also try and get a settlement on six five. Actually, six five seems better than the five two spot here. Because then it makes it a lot it makes uh, connecting my settlements a lot easier. I'm not sure why these two is to one trades are going on. Giving, yeah, giving orange a second city here surely, surely seems very, very scary. Okay, I'm surely don't want to do it. Surely don't want to do a one is to two here. Yeah, I don't have any wheat here, so I'll just end my turn. Let's see if I get. I mean, this trade doesn't help me too much, right? So at this point. Maybe I just do a 4 to 1 and end my turn. Yeah, I think this is fine. Yeah, immediately get a sheep. A monopoly on this board will be very, very huge. Like a monopoly can be played either on wood or on ore. Yeah, I don't think so. Anybody should be trading with green. Because once green gets a city on 8, 5, 10, wow. Yeah. I'm not, I think green accepts this. Okay, doesn't accept it. But then yeah, once uh, green gets a city on 8, 5, 10, it will be very, very difficult to slow green down. Okay, goes for a dev card. So I'm hoping that a seven rolls and then maybe I can target green, steal the ore. That would be very, very huge. Yeah, I mean, everyone here is making a lot of progress. Yeah, 
I think the game is now lost. I don't think so. There is a lot that I can do. I can get two roads and a settlement here, but um, not sure how I can match green's production. Sorry, orange's production. Maybe I do get a settlement on the five three to one port. Stop orange from getting a settlement there. Yeah, it doesn't seem like a bad option to be honest. I mean, orange is already in a very strong position, but then using utilizing my ear of plenty just to get a settlement on the three to one port also doesn't seem to be a right thing to do. At least not for my game. Yeah, I'll just get a settlement here and end my turn. Here, the eight wood should be the block. Maybe blocks the six brick. I'm not sure. Okay, six wheat was unexpected. Yeah, I think I need to roll a seven here. I will surely, actually one is to two is never going to happen there. Yeah, I will accept this trade. Actually, it was green who was countering. Maybe I can accept a one is to one. Let's see. Wow, trades with green. Yeah, I should have just offered a one is to one. Trying to be greedy here is going to backfire. Okay, orange just goes for a death card. But uh, there is not a lot that I can do here. Maybe I just offer a one is to one and end my turn. Yeah. Yeah, surely that trade is not going to be profitable for anyone except green. Okay. Yeah, I want to get a city, but I think like a monopoly would be very, very strong on this board, especially with these roles and yeah, red already building their third city because of those tens rolling. Also, the lack of sevens is a little frustrating. Yeah. yeah. Let's see if I get a trade. Basically, will give me a city with my year of plenty. Might even offer a one is to two. I'm really surprised nobody is accepting that. Like orange has a lot of ore in hand. Yeah, if not, maybe I just do a four is to one. Yeah, don't have any other choice. I can go for a dev card, but then here everyone else is going to outproduce me. So I do need to get a city here. And uh, I think six, nine, 10 is fine. It is my highest production spot. Two there is a pretty good role for me, but yeah, surely need a seven. Yeah, why is red accepting this trade? 
yeah i surely don't understand any of any trade there i mean it should not have been been accepted at least not a one is to one in that said red is very close right red needs to get the longest road okay so that six and might help me get the longest road which will give me eight points wow this one is to two i would have accepted it i think yeah okay maybe red builds a road towards the eight wheat tile sorry eight sheep tile not sure okay is trying to get a settlement on 3411 yeah here the lack of uh, sevens is really frustrating and i'm now worried that a seven might roll now when i have over seven cards there would be absolutely nothing that i will be able to do i mean yeah orange is buying dev cards there with with the production orange has i think that is the right thing to do plays a knight maybe blocks the four wheat or the eight word uh, does block the eight word at least the six is unblocked but i'm not sure if it will okay luckily don't roll a seven let's see all i'm trying to do is buy a def card here okay red accepts it i have to go for it i mean it's not like i have much choice and i get a vp so for now i mean let's see if i get this trade maybe i can get a road settlement and then just focus on getting the longest road let's see yeah but then i don't want to give up a wheat and if i'm not getting a road settlement at least i should secure the longest road yeah i will be targeted actually i'm not being targeted so either i get a road settlement or a city yeah here i mean orange plays the knight maybe blocks the six wheat and steal my i don't know i think stealing the brick would be the best case scenario okay doesn't even steal from me so if a six rolls i think i can buy a def card I still need a trade right I cannot win the game here Let's see Okay yeah this was expected here i mean orange has to be the target i get a break which doesn't help me let's see if i get a trade
Yeah, surely not doing a two is to one here with green. I mean, if none of these trades are going through, should I just build a road and secure the longest road here? I don't want uh, red or orange for some reason to have the to have a plow. I mean, yeah, I think I'll, I'll take the risk here. Let's see. Okay, so red secures the longest road. I'm surprised I am still being targeted. Yeah, red might just win the game here. Just needs to build a road settlement and then maybe buy a dev card. Let's see. Okay, it does build a road. Yeah, maybe red will be getting the longest road. That will be scary. The only good thing here is red does not have any threes to one ports or any ports whatsoever. I did take a risk of not connecting my, uh, not building a road. And I hope that risk pays off. Okay. Let's see. What does orange do? Yeah. I mean, I'm surprised. Okay, orange is trying to get the longest road here, which is completely fine. Yeah, sorry for the noise in the background. It's been quite noisy today, but uh, it's unfortunate. Let's see. Wow. I mean, I can try and get a trade here. If not, I can just buy a dev card. Dev card. I mean, if I'm taking a risk, yeah, let's just buy a dev card. Hope that I get a VP. I get a monopoly. Okay. So because I have a monopoly here, I think I'll do this. This way I do secure the longest road and now maybe I can just play a monopoly on or to get a city or a road settlement. Maybe red wins the game here. Red just needs two settlements, right? With 12 cards in hand, maybe it is possible. 8 did roll here. And if not red, maybe black wins. Actually, black needs to pull another VP. Because even if black gets a city, it will be difficult, to bla uh, difficult for black to build two roads and a settlement. Okay, so green has a couple of weeds. 
Red has a couple of weeds now. Okay, so. Yeah, but now, I mean, orange wins the game. And steals a wheat, so should be able to get a city. Why the dev card? I'm not sure why. Wow, why it's two dev cards? Because orange had ore, but not. Sorry, orange had brick. Here, I'm hoping for a six or a four to roll. Okay, six does roll here. So I think, so two, three, four, five, six, seven. I think I will be one wheat short of winning the game, right? Oh, actually, no, there are 10 wheats. No miscalculation on my part. So, I mean, what I can, what, I can get a city easily. I can also get a road settlement. So this is a road. And that will be the settlement, right? Yep. So overall, a pretty good game here. I mean, it was very close, a lot more uh, difficult. At least I thought it would be very difficult early on in the game. But in the end, I do win here. Yeah. These tens were like huge. Yeah, it was very scary with all those tens. Especially because orange and uh, red got cities very easily. But in the end, the monopoly did work in my favor. Actually, I got pretty good dev cards. I did not get even a single night, two VPs, a year of plenty and a monopoly. So, I mean, and green was dependent on the wood port, but unfortunately not a lot of rolls helped green. Yeah, not a lot of fives, not a lot of uh, and decent number of eights, but overall I think fours and tens just made the game very one-sided. Only three nines, so that is also something that slowed down my production. I think my choice of going for six five did turn out to be a good thing in the end. But overall I think my dev cards were the one that helped me win the game. And yeah, not a lot of sevens either. So the six wheat was blocked for quite a long time. In the end, that monopoly was just huge. Getting 10 wheats. So yeah, pretty close game here. Let's take a look at the leaderboard. So this puts me back on the 13th spot. Uh, this is my personal best, but it's not the first time I've been on 13. I'll hopefully I can win the next game soon. Here I can see that Red Aura is the number one player in India, so I will be ranked number two here. Yeah, but Red Aura has played a lot of games here, and so has number three. But yeah, I mean that's fine. Anyway. Bye for now and see you again in the next video. Bye-bye.